everyone. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about what a hyperdoc is and what a hyperdoc is not. So if you're interested in finding out first of all what a hyperdoc is, uh, then please keep on watching. So today I'm going to be using a concept attainment activity to discuss what a hyperdoc is and what a hyperdoc is not. And there's some wonderful work that's been done uh, on hyperdocs, and I'll share a link to websites in different communities uh, that have connected where they share lots of examples of hyperdocs. But let me just move myself out of the way, first of all and just start off with what it is and what it's not. So if you haven't heard what a hyperdoc is, I think it's really important to understand that it's a resource which links learning experiences uh, designed based on effective online pedagogy. So it's not, you know, sharing a video for an hour that's lecturing and delivering uh, facts and skills and information to students. Their learning experiences that perhaps adopt an inquiry based learning approach, such as using the five E's framework. And a hyperdoc is just not a plain Word document, Google Doc or Google Slide with lots of links to different things. Um, that is more of a playlist. So a playlist, if you just have a whole list of different uh, links to different resources that you just go in order, a hyperdoc is really a lot more complex than that. So what else is a hyperdoc? Uh, let's see. A hyperdoc is a resource that uses embedded content to be visually appealing as well. So hopefully your hyperdoc is visually appealing so that it's a bit more engaging and motivating for your students. And a hyperdoc is not a list of links to different tasks that resemble traditional learning engagement. So it's not a link to a worksheet that students complete, uh, or uh, as I said before, a hyperdoc is not a link just to an hour long video uh, transmitting and delivering information to your students. So the next point that I want to make about the hyperdoc is it's a resource that transforms learning to provide an integrated experience for students. And so it's not linear necessarily, but there'll be opportunities for students to be able to explore different resources, not necessarily in a linear fashion. And it's not a link to hour long webinars and lectures. I think I've said that three times because I feel so passionately about the idea that a hyperdoc is just not a link to traditional learning engagements and a list of hour long webinars. And a hyperdoc, it's a resource that promotes critical thinking, communication and creativity. And again, it's not a resource that just links to traditional learning experiences where your students are working in isolation and they're working on very low order thinking skills. And lastly, I want to share that the hyperdoc should be multimodal and engaging. And it's not just links to web resources that are not connected or coherent and that do not support conceptual understanding of the goal. So a hyperdoc should start off with some learning goals that we don't share with students. So generalizations or statements of conceptual understanding. And then we craft guiding questions from those goals and we share questions in the hyperdoc. And students can work collaboratively, either in pairs or small groups to work through a hyperdoc. I like to encourage students to be able to show their learning through a hyperdoc in different ways and giving students a choice board to be able to showcase their learning. And in that choice board, it could be a choice of either the task or the product of how they display their understanding. Now, there are some wonderful websites about hyperdocs, in particular one called hyperdoc.co. I'm going to put a link in the comments below to that wonderful website and a big shout out to the creators of that who have formed a huge community, international community of collaborators who constantly share different hyperdocs. There's also a wonderful Facebook group as well. And in that Facebook group, there are thousands of educators who share different hyperdocs, different subject areas. So if you want to see exactly examples of that. Thank you so much for joining me again this week. And remember, please feel free to put any questions in the comment section below. And I really hope to see you next time. Bye.